let's talk about rudder alignment. Yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today we are going to be taking a look at rudder alignment. Um, so, because we've got two rudders, we've got the choice of how straight we want to put them. We could put them perfectly straight, like this. We could put them so they're coming out at the front like this. Or we could put them so they're coming in at the front like this. This is what we're looking for. This is what we call toe in with the rudders. And that's what we're looking for. But the question is, how much and why and how? So, firstly, the why do we want the rudders towing in? It's because the leeward rudder, the leeward rudder on the boat is constantly under more pressure than the windward one. And with the amount of bend and flex in the boat and the rudder, if it was straight or out, as it bends and the boat flexes, the rudders would go out, so they're towing out, which would make the boat very difficult to control and it would make the boat want to bear away all the time, which is a horrible feeling and quite dangerous. So for that reason, we want the rudders towing in. So on Hobies, there's two ways that we adjust this tow in on the rudders. The first one, which is the slightly older system, is where we have a screw here that connects to a nut inside which holds it tight. If we want to move uh, the alignment of the rudders, we loosen this screw and then we'll either shorten this to tow the rudders in more or lengthen it if they're towed in too much. With these adjustments, you only ever need to do it once and then it's set. So as long as you do it once, do it right, then you won't have to set it again. If this hasn't been adjusted for a long time, don't be afraid to give it a little knock on the end with a hammer because it might have got a lot of salt inside which is gonna stop it from moving. So give it a little tap if you need to. The other method is what we have on the newer 16s or on the more modern designs like on the Tiger and other boats like that where we can just slip this retainer off the end, pop the conrod off, and then we can adjust it by just altering this screw thread, uh, putting it in to tow the rudders in, putting it out to tow the rudders out. Easy. If you've got an older boat, should you change the system? I say no. There's other things you could be spending your money and time on which are more important. So don't worry about changing that. Seeing as you only ever have to adjust it once, there's no need. Now, for the amount that you're going to be towing the rudders in, if you've got a Tiger or a boat with dagger boards, what we'll do is we can do this by eye because we've got a very clear straight line on the boat. So. With the rig tension on, we'll line up one of the rudders dead straight like this. And then the other rudder just wants to be in a little bit so that it's pointing. Here we go, we'll go to where it's pointing to. So we're going along the hull. So that it's pointing at the bow tang, which means it is slightly in. So it's very easy to do this by eye on a bigger boat that has dagger boards and straight hulls. Okay, so on a 16 where we don't have a particularly straight hull to line it up with, we're going to use a tape measure. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the tape measure at the inside, at the front, and at the back of the rudder blade at, the, at its widest point, which is just here. And we're gonna hold that here. Here I've recruited glamorous assistant Emma, who's just gonna hold the tape there, so that's in the middle. Nice, gonna pull that across. Gonna put it at exactly the same point on this side, taking a measurement there. And then if you take that and take it to the back edge 
of the rudder blade. And then we're going to take that to the back edge of the rudder blade in the same spot. And we'll just see the difference that we have there. Okay, thank you, Emma. That will be all. Um, and what we're looking for is between three and six millimeters less on the inside to what we have on the outside. With a newer boat, which is going to be stiffer, we need less tow in. So three mil, three and a half millimeters will be good there. On an older boat, which flexes a lot, up to six millimeters will be adequate of tow in. And once you've put that on there once, you could check that once a year or so, and that will be fine. So there we go. All we're looking for is a small amount of tow in. On the bigger boats, we can do it by eye. On the 16 or the 14 or anything similar, we can do it using a tape measure and a friend. I hope that's been informative and you got something out of that. But um, the tow in of the rudders, you only need to do it once and then you're set. Much more importantly to do regularly is to make sure you don't have any play in your rudder system forwards and backwards or side to side. So forwards and backwards, this one's pretty good. Side to side. This one's fine. She doesn't need doing. Let's take it for a burn and give it the beans. So thanks again to everybody who's been supporting the channel here on Joyrider TV. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, here are your stages in channel support. Number one, click the like button on this video. Number two, make sure you are subscribed to Joyrider TV. Number three, head over to totaljoyrider.com and get yourself a Joyrider t-shirt or hoodie. Step four, head over to Patreon and you can support the channel through Patreon as well. Thanks very much, but just by watching the videos, you are supporting the channel as well. So thank you, and there'll be more coming up soon.